Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Yeah. <sighs> Is Britney Spears fat phobic? A lot of people in the fat acceptance community seem to think so after a post she made recently. Today, we're going to examine that post and make our own determination. Was she really out of line, or should everybody leave Britney alone? <laughs> leave her alone. I fall into the latter category. Leave her alone. To further investigate this matter, we must first apply comb to mustache. The post that's got everybody so angry is this one, where Britney Spears is quoting Rodney Dangerfield. I found there was only one way to look thin, hang out with fat people. Eh, good old Rodney Dangerfield, a classic. I get no respect, I tell you, no respect. My wife's cooking is so bad, the flies have chipped in to fix the screen door. But we're gonna get mad at Britney Spears for quoting this genius. So clearly the quote from Rodney Dangerfield is a joke. He's saying, I'm never gonna lose weight, and I've accepted that fact. So the only way for me to look thin is by comparison, by being next to people that are larger than me. Clearly Rodney Dangerfield was taking a jab at himself with that joke. And clearly Britney Spears is taking a jab at herself with that joke as well. Luckily, nobody in the fat acceptance community is going to get angry about that at all. So Britney Spears just posted this, um, and I gotta say, I am really disappointed. Bruh. I am shocked that you are disappointed. Fat Fab Feminist is disappointed. Color me surprised. <laughs> You're normally so happy and accepting of everyone and everything. If I had a nickel for every time this person was disappointed in something, I would be rich. I'm a big fan. I know she has gone through so much. But that doesn't give her the right to say this. Do you know she's been through so much? I don't, I don't know if you quite understand the, uh, the rigmarole of being a child star. But it really sucks when someone is struggling and they feel the need to take out their insecurities and frustrations on other people. Um, I don't know if she did all that. I don't see her targeting anybody. She said, I found there was only one way to look thin, hang out with fat people. She didn't say there was only one way to look thin by hanging out with fat, fat feminist. She said by hanging out with fat people. And then you identified with the phrase fat people. You sure she wasn't talking about all those other people? Why do you think it was you? What she went through was not okay. And I deeply empathize with her. That being said, she uses this post to talk about her like insecurities. And this speaks to the deeper issue of a trend that I see quite often where thin people, when talking about their own personal issues with their body, they feel the need to put fat people down. Well, I don't know if it's putting anybody down. They're just saying, like, comparatively, I would look smaller next to someone who is obese or whatever. So we can't take a fun jab at ourselves anymore without other people getting mad at it. Fat people are the butt of the joke, or, you know, at least I don't look like them. Rodney Dangerfield was fat himself, and Britney Spears was referring to herself as fat in this context as well. Collateral damage. Collateral damage. Settle down. I promise you all, like, there are ways to talk about your own body image issues without shitting on fat people. Right, and there are ways for you to stop getting offended and trying to control and police everybody else on this planet. Fat Fab Feminist world police. I wish we had somebody as level-headed and cool-tempered as this to be our global dictator. Why are you always being so tyrannical trying to tell everybody what to do all the time? Like, this wouldn't be a problem. Except I think it is, so it is. <laughs> like, what? Who are you? I don't know, that's just like, suck to see. Dang that Britney Spears for being a child star brought up in an industry where being thin is the number one priority. Darn her for literally not even having control over her own life until recently when they removed the conservatorship or whatever. As we're going to see in a moment when we actually look at the post that Britney made, um, the words that she used in the post were not exactly the words of somebody who was mentally with it at all. Let's take a look at the next person that's angry. Okay, we gotta talk about Britney Spears' fat phobic post. Pause if you're gonna read it because I'm not gonna keep it on any longer. Oh, dang it, I missed it. Okay, yes, everyone has body issues. But it really sucks when thin people especially use fat people as the butt of their joke. 
I promise that there are ways for you to talk about your insecurities, about your body issues, without using fat people as the joke. Here we go, another person trying to police your language because it hurt their feelings. I guess I'll have to reiterate this for the millionth time. Uh, you can't control what people say, but you can control how you react to it. And then they're always trying to tell you, you should have expressed yourself in this way. That would have been okay. Like, dude, don't tell me what I can or can't say. And for me, it literally only magnifies the fact that when projects like The Whale come out, fat people and fat stories will be continuously used as a way to prop up thin stories. Bruh. Right, you said, for me, stories like The Whale and blah, 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 and yada, yada, yada will do X, Y, and Z. Pay attention to your own words. For you, it will do all of those things. For the rest of us, it will not do anything. When you are riddled with personal issues, you will see the world through that lens 100% of the time. If you've been in a few abusive relationships, you might start seeing all men as bastards. But that wouldn't be accurate. That would just be you viewing the world through your own lens because you are not over your personal issues. And that's true for everybody on this planet. Until you get over your personal issues, you're going to be out there hurting people and saying a bunch of crazy stuff that is not an accurate representation of who you really are as a person. That ain't you that's talking. That's just your issues, dude. And you don't even know it until you overcome those issues. Then you will see the error of your former self's ways. It's like if you're short and you go around perceiving every tall person is wronging you. They probably don't even notice that you're there because you're way down here. Ha ha. Short joke. But you perceive it as them wronging you because you're perceiving everything through that lens. Thin issues. And we are full-blooded humans too, y'all. And the most disappointing part about all of this is that I know so many people who like this post. So I genuinely... The most disappointing part. I love when people tell me they're disappointed in me. You know, cynical dude, I am really disappointed in you. All right, man, I'm really sorry. I just can't believe that. I Wait a minute, who the hell are you? Why do I care? That's even more disappointing. I still don't care. And how did you get in my house? You came climbing in through the window with your phone, showing me some Britney Spears posts, talking all kinds of crazy talk. What is this? You should never have this look of distress on your face from a post that you read by a celebrity. If your mom made a post telling you, oh my goodness, you are way too overweight. Yeah, you might have this look on your face, but Britney Spears speaking into the wind about nothing in particular, uh, you're letting your emotions get the better of you. I genuinely want to ask those of you who are on this platform, why? What was so funny about it? It was funny because she was poking fun at herself. Have you ever seen those posts on Instagram where girls are making fun of themselves? They'll show a picture of Jennifer Lopez and it'll be like, Jennifer Lopez at age 50 and she'll look all amazing. And then it'll be like me at age 18 and it'll show Dora the Explorer wearing an oxygen mask. <laughs> when people make fun of themselves, dude, you shouldn't be identifying with it. It has nothing to do with you. You are identifying with the negative things that they said and choosing to get butthurt about it. What was so interesting? What made it okay for you to like the post? Bruh. What made it okay for me to like the post? I'm sorry, officer, what was your, oh, you're not a police officer and you don't work for the FBI. Uh, I liked the post because I felt like it. She's gonna come barreling through your door. FBI, open up. Did you like that post? I just thought it was funny, man. Off to fat phobic prison for you, buddy. Why are there so many dictators within the fat acceptance community? The amount of incel vibes within this community is freaking next level crazy. If you ever looked at any of the posts from the incels, they would say things like, I deserve a woman. How come everybody else gets this thing and I don't? And how come the chads all do this and the other people do that? Like just the level of bitterness and jealousy. Uh, if you dwell on those emotions, they will poison you. You will poison yourself with your own negative emotions. And to inevitably tell me that I am just there in your life as a way to make you look thinner. You told yourself that. Britney Spears doesn't know who you are. I hate to break the news to you, but um, yeah, that post wasn't about you. You are identifying with all of this and choosing to be mad about it. I honestly can't even feel bad for you. You're doing this to yourself. And don't get me wrong, I'm a Britney fan. I know what she's been through, it sucks. But you can't prop someone up while you're also simultaneously burying someone else in the ground. It's weird to be mad at Britney Spears, who's been raised as a child star her whole life, probably with the only goal being 
stay thin enough that you can perform and we can put you on album covers and stuff. That's probably the only thing that she's been told her whole life. They sure weren't telling her to work on her vocals because that was a lost cause, okay? So the only thing that they could tell her to work on is her weight and her appearance. So when that is 100% of your identity and you're pushed 24-7 by all these people around you to be thin and look this way and yada yada yada, you might make a joke at your own expense which would really be none of your business. Why are you getting mad about this? I love how all these people are like, I know that she's been through a lot. I know that she just recently was allowed to become an adult and for the previous however many years of her life, she was part of a conservatorship where she wasn't even allowed to speak. But screw all that. You quoted Rodney Dangerfield and it hurt my feelings. I love how these people are always identifying with negative stuff that people said and then getting mad at that person for it. You're the one who chose to identify with it. If somebody made a general insult about stupid people, would you identify with that? Not that I'm calling anybody anything. I'm just saying, would you? It's your choice. You chose to identify with the fat thing. You're going to identify with any other negative stuff that people randomly say about nobody in particular? Next. Britney Spears, anti-fatness. Let's talk about it. So her post says, I found there was only one way to look thin. Hang out with fat people. The caption brings up just being around really small body. All right, now here's where we're going to get to the caption. Now we're going to get to the interesting part. Pay attention to the wording of this caption and tell me if this caption was written by somebody that is mentally sound. Caption reads, I wish I could have chosen the nannies for my children. My dancers. I mean, if I had Christina Aguilera's dancers, I would have looked extremely small. Right, so you started off talking about if you could have chosen the nannies for your children. And then you talk about the dancers. Then you talk about Christina Aguilera's dancers. So anybody that's getting offended and angry by this is literally getting offended by somebody who has the mental capacity of somebody with schizophrenia or dementia. The sentences that she's saying are not tied together at all. Britney Spears is barely able to hold it together enough to string together a coherent sentence. If you look at her Instagram, you will see countless examples of this. And she goes on to say, I mean, if I had Christina Aguilera's dancers, I would have looked extremely small. I mean, why not talk about it? Don't you think my confidence would have been a bit better if I could choose where I lived, ate, whom I called on the phone, dated, and who was on stage with me? It's hard sometimes. Now I see how much of my womanhood was stripped away at that time, and every person sat back and didn't say a thing. Anyways, I will be here talking about things people never talked about. The incoherent ramblings of somebody who's being traumatized to the point of not really coming back. And if she was around Christina Aguilera's backup dancers, uh, she would have looked smaller. She makes another post that basically said she's not trying to be critical. Now we're going to look at Britney Spears' apology post. By no means was I being critical of Christina's beautiful body. It is what it is. I flew to see her show once and the main thing I noticed was the difference of our people on stage. By no means did I even mention Christina. Look at my post. I was inspired by her show and she is a beautiful woman of power. Thank you, Extina, for inspiring me. To be honest, I'm not trying to be critical of anybody. What I posted is a projection of the insecurities I deal with all the time as a result of how my parents and the media have treated me. I would never intentionally body shame anybody because I know what it feels like. I struggle with this because of how I feel about myself, not because I hate how anybody looks. I feel like my family knew I was insecure and people were trying to purposely feed into this insecurity by not letting me have a choice in the people who were on stage with me. I appreciate you all being understanding with me as I figure out this new life I'm living. Okay, so I'm getting a lot of like not fully with it vibes from all of that as well. She was going all over the place, rambling, talking about this and that. And she's showing a little bit of paranoid tendencies by saying that they purposely put people on the stage that were small to make her feel bad. On this part where she said, people were trying to purposefully feed into this insecurity by not letting me have a choice in the people who were on stage with me. That may or may not be true, but likely they just had whatever size dancers worked for the show. Maybe they couldn't get Christina Aguilera to lose as much weight as you were able to lose, so they had to give her bigger dancers to make her look smaller by comparison. Of Christina Aguilera or other people's bodies was that she's hypercritical of her own and she has her own insecurities. It's kind of like a non-apology post, I feel like. Uh, because she doesn't need to apologize. And people have lots of mixed feelings, so let's talk about it. When someone's not all there mentally, uh, you're wasting your time by getting angry at them. 
I guess not everybody like picks up on when people aren't there mentally like I can. I can spot it a mile away, dude. I've been around so many people with mental problems. Subtle ones and very exacerbated problems. Fat bodies do not exist for skinny people to feel better about themselves. All right, and crazy people don't exist for you to feel better about being sane. Anti-fatness is something that is really normalized in our society, and Britney's post is a great example of that. I think her post actually really accurately captures some of the issues with anti-fatness in society. If we look beyond our own anti-fatness, we see a system. A system where she's surrounded by skinny bodies. Dude, enough with the term bodies. Fat bodies, skinny bodies, blah, 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 blah. You guys are always using whatever language you have to to disconnect from your physical form. Where she's surrounded by skinny bodies and feels this pressure and need to be smaller and smaller. Her solution is to be around bigger bodies, right? So she feels skinnier. And you're angry about that. Alright, Brittany, we know that you've been forced to starve yourself for years so you can fit whatever Hollywood image that they want you to. But we would rather you not get bigger dancers to make yourself look smaller by comparison and instead continue to starve yourself. Cause my feelings. But really what it should be is trying to feel comfortable in our own skin, trying to dismantle these systems that- There's no system that you need to dismantle. They're always talking about dismantling all these systems and this and that, when the only work there is to be done is right in front of you. So much effort is put in to do anything other than look in the mirror and take accountability for our own actions. And it requires so much more effort to externalize all this stuff instead of just looking at yourself and being like, dang, I need to change. That's actually easier. Continually tell us that fat bodies should not exist and are bad um, and really combat that instead of trying to make ourselves smaller and smaller till we disappear. What? So in your mind, you're fighting a battle against people who are trying to make you smaller and smaller until you disappear. And the only way to win against them is to keep eating and eating and get bigger and bigger. Is that why some of these people put down the high level of calories that they do? Because they feel like somebody's trying to waste them away until they disappear forever? Somebody is shooting you with a shrinking ray and your only way to keep existing is to just keep eating so you can outrun the pace of the shrink ray? This is so freaking weird, dude, I swear. Um, really contradicting that rhetoric and challenging it and really seeking that liberation. Put all this effort into working on yourself and you might get somewhere. You can't change the world, you can only change yourself. Put all that effort into working on you. Because at the end of the day, that's gonna serve all people better, fat and skinny. I hope she takes this as an opportunity to learn and challenge her own anti-fat bias for herself and her following. I hope that she takes this as a learning yada 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 pretentious nonsense. Also, I hope all these genius fat liberationist educators can teach Britney the error of her ways. One more. Bestie, can we talk about Britney's latest IG post? Sure. Bestie. Let's talk about Britney Spears' Instagram post. Yes, please. I assume we mean this one. In which she has this caption. The first question I have is, is anyone really surprised? Britney Spears is in fact a part of the Mickey Mouse Club generation, the early 2000s generation, the Lindsay Lohan, Amanda Bynes, Paris Hilton, Kim Kardashian generation. Uh, I think she might be a little bit before those. They were trained to be exemplars of fat phobia. Wait a minute. Are you understanding Britney Spears right now? I think she's actually seeing Britney Spears' side right here and understanding that she's been through a lot of really crazy stuff that the rest of us couldn't even imagine. And Britney Spears spent the majority of her adult life not being able to have an original thought. Yeah, she's kind of not even being allowed to be a human being for her entire life. So we should maybe take that into consideration. And every action and move that she made was calculated by an entire PR team run by her father. All right, you're making a lot of sense right now. High five. Hundreds of people fueling her negative self-image with... Yeah, thank you. I remember many, many years ago, Britney Spears had gained a little bit of weight and then she went to go do a concert or something where she like had to dance around on a pole or some crap and like all she got was negative reviews by everybody in the press about how fat she was. She had put on like a little bit of weight, had like a little bit of chub going, nothing crazy, but like on every single TV station it's like, oh my god, look how fat Britney got. Imagine 30 plus years of people all up your ass about how you look and what you can say and how much weight you've gained and what you can eat and stuff. Normally I don't give anybody a pass on their crappy behavior. 
But when it comes to something like this, I can see a little bit more. Without an opportunity to unlearn that fat phobia. Well, I don't know about all the fat phobia, yada yada yada, but you know, her entire existence has been based on her weight since she was born, so. I think that Rodney Dangerfield quote is a disgusting one that- What? How dare you soil the good name of Mr. Dangerfield. It taps into a lot of insecurities that young fat adolescents have. Right. We all have insecurities, okay. But to expect more from Britney Spears is to assume that she had a normative adult life, which she didn't. All right, I agree. I agree 100%. If you thought that her comments were a little insensitive, uh, consider what she's been through. Can you make it through the Mickey Mouse Club without shaving off all your hair and doing a bunch of crazy drugs? I don't think I could. So, Britney Spears, like I said, uh, mentally, she's not even all there. Go look at her Instagram right now. Read some of the captions and decide. Look at some of the videos of her dancing around. Doesn't even look like the same person. So I think the joke she quoted from Rodney Dangerfield, yeah, it wasn't a big deal. She's just poking fun at herself. And then the caption that she left, uh, didn't make a whole lot of sense. So you can't really be mad at her for that either. Anyway, that about does it. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.